Good day! Welcome to Meravit Education Center. This is for Science and English, Matayum 3. Now, we will be learning about interaction and interdependence among organisms. Are you ready? Let's begin! We will be learning how animals, plants, and humans support each other. Animals and plants cannot communicate with each other. But how are they able to interact? Well, let's find out. Interactions between organisms are very important. Why? They control the size of populations in a community and create a balanced and stable environment. There are three types of interactions between organisms. Prey predator, symbiosis, and competition. Prey predator interaction is one of the common relationships within a community between a prey and a predator. Predator is an animal that captures and eats other animals, like the lioness catching and trying to eat the zebra that is running for his life. Aww. Very sad, isn't it? How about the prey? Prey is an animal eaten by predator, and it can either be carnivores that eat meat, herbivores that eat plants, or omnivores that eat meats and plants. Can you see the lizard eating the ant? Who do you think is the prey? Exactly! The ant! Perfect! In a prey-predator relationship, the predator benefits and the prey loses. Examples are shown in the pictures where zebra and chicks are the prey while the lioness and snakes are the predator. Next is symbiosis. Symbiosis is a relationship between two different organisms. Which one of them benefits? There are three types of symbiosis. Commensalism, parasitism, and mutualism. Now let's understand what are their differences. Commensalism is a relationship between two organisms which one benefits without damaging the host. For example, remora fish is often found attached under or above the shark. Why? Create! Because remora fish gets their food left by the shark without harming the host. Now let's have parasitism. It is a relationship between two types of organisms in which one organism benefits while the other is harmed. For example, the mosquito sips blood from the humans while the humans are harmed by leaving a harmful bacteria inside the body. Next is mutualism. Mutualism is an interaction between two different organisms that benefit both. These organisms have give and take system. For example, the lichen, which consists of fungi and algae living together. The algae produce food and the fungi provide shelter. Competition Competition is a type of interaction among organisms living in the same habitat, in which each competes for its basic needs. But wait! In the competition, there are two types, intraspecific competition and interspecific competition. Intraspecific competition is a competition between individuals of the same species. For example, in the picture, the two lizards are fighting and killing each other in order to survive. But how about the interspecific competition? 
This type of competition happens between individuals of different species. Look, the lion is in trouble. The hyenas are chasing the lion for their food. And the lion is fighting back not to be killed. Now, we have learned that all living things depend on their environment to supply them with what they need. Thus, they interact with other organisms in their environment for survival. Amazing, isn't it? Happy learning and see you in the next episode.